Welcome to whiskey.com, where fine spirits meet. My name is Luning, Horst Luning, and I'm the master taster of whiskey.com. Today we have a new bottle, relatively new bottle on my cask. It's a Glen Callum, 14 years old, 46% ABV, non-chill filtered, uncolored, and Oloroso sherry cask finished. That means the whiskey was matured in ex-bourbon casks, probably refill or refill refill casks. And because it has not enough content of the wood in its spirit, it was filled into fresh Oloroso sherry casks or rather fresh casks and was matured again for 16 months in those Oloroso sherry casks. Um, the color is not that deep as it's typical for uh, Oloroso sherry matured whiskies. That means uh, there will be more of the cask and less of the sherry in the whiskey. I think that's a good, good sign because cask always means uh, spiciness, uh, more aromas, stronger aromas, oakiness. Um, it's on the bottle. The rather enriched Highland Single Malt Scotch Whiskey. Uh, there are several other malts from Glen Callum. I still have to taste. There is a 10 year old, I think, and a 12 and 15, probably. Um, they were all not that bad. So uh, the change in proprietors at the Glen Callum distillery uh, led to the better. Opened in 1925, just one year after distilling on a large scale was legalized, the Glen Callum distillery continues to produce its rather delicate single malt scotch whiskey in the same fashion it did in 1825. You believe in this? Hmm. <laughs> as long as there is a mouse on the computer, the whiskey is handmade. Um, yeah, I remember I visited the Glen Cadam distillery just from the outside. I haven't been on the inside in 1998 and they had a an old brick chimney there and you looked over the graveyard for oh, drink in moderation. That tells you. A limited quantity of Glen Cadam 14 years Old has spent the last 16 months of maturation in Oloroso sherry casks. The process of finishing imparts to the whiskey enriched characteristics, most notably tones of sherry sweetness. Full, strong, sherry, but not that sweet, more fruity. And behind there is a vanilla and a decent sweetness. Not too sweet, no. There are spicy. Uh, um, a bucket full of spices. There's some flowers, but full blown up flowers. The blooms are over the top. And some strong aromas coming through. Spiciness, sherry. In the back, some vanilla. Hmm. Full impact. Ah, oh. and mouth watering. I to gulp a second time. Um, a lot of spice. 
no bitterness, no spiciness like fresh ground pepper, oakiness, a long, long aftertaste, and the sherry, the fruitiness, still there. Oh, wonderful. Yeah. One of the very best I had in this month. Very good. Mm. Oh. You have to be careful. This one is demanding and full impact. No sharp, spicy pepper. Slight oakiness appearing. The sherry passes away and the oakiness, the spiciness is taking over. Ah, oh, a wonderful dram. Thank you for watching whiskey.com. Stay tuned. Feel free to comment on this video and share it with your friends.